What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are finally back in Wreckfest once again here today at a track that has been highly requested and is fairly new here to Wreckfest. We are at Recknado, which is a big intersection track with a bunch of ramps leading to the chaos. It ought to be a good time. And of course, we've got the NASCAR legends back once again as well. We'll be moonlighting as Cold Trickle today as we try to survive the intersections. Let's see if we can do it. And we are rolling and slapping doors with Austin Bill already, and they're already getting turned in front of us. And we're just getting piled into and run down from behind. Couldn't even go down a straight ramp without immediately imploding on ourselves. Down to 12 health, just an immaculate start as we come to expect here from Wreckfest. And a shot from Christian Eckes. And we knocked over Neil Bonnet there. That's an assist. That jump. Clear an intersection here, but maybe not the ramp and Casey Kane gonna slide it right in the path. And we just caved the trunk on, you know, we're gonna get a little gravity assist here and then we get killed. And then we just get straight murked in the streets. You know, it's about to be a good day on Wreckfest when you hit the replay booth for the very first attempt of the day, just to see the carnage that unfolded. And my clone did the work. It was attack of the clones for a lot of that. Shameful. And then Casey Kane in the 27, poor guy, just uh, nowhere to go. Took a beating from us, and then we're gonna come and collect one from the Kodak car ourselves. A little, little bankruptcy. See if we can get a nice clean start for attempt number two. Maybe the 30 of Bill Elliott didn't lean it into me as hard. I'm leaning into Bobby Hamilton too much, and we turn him and we take him out. Imagine not even making it off the first ramp before being out of the race. That is reality for Bobby Hamilton. That is a shame, and then we have Christian Eckes just hanging around, having a good time. I'm hanging around, having a good time after getting done up by the bandit of all people. Oh, legend, who's the brainiac trying to do this ramp in reverse? I'll give you the push and it goes terribly wrong. We take out Joey Gates and nearly take ourselves out in the process. We still might run out Carl, cousin Carl out of the way and Jeremy Clements just laying in the road. He's almost taken out. Who's this? Alex Bowman, see you later. Dead, gone. Oh my god, then we got cars coming right at our eyeballs here. We get to switch back around the right direction. Who's that? Jeff Gordon going up the half pipe up here, and he's gonna come back into traffic. What are you doing? Oh, I could almost taste the mini pack on Ekis right there. Around the outside, bounce it off the wall. The hunt down that Kodak car. Oh, oh! Damn! That actually just scared the living hell out of me. That's cool. It's kind of like a conga line until me and Bill Elliott swap door paint, and around we go. Could not make it down the first ramp once again. Thanks, Bill. Oh, God, don't pull out Kodak car again. Pull out game. D minus on the Kodak car, quite honestly. Very weak, very not strong. Oh, Joey Gase, another pull out specialist. Making his skills known to the world that they are low tier. But you know what, that's okay, but so are mine. These things happen. And we're still alive, so that's okay for the time being until Betty Parsons makes another attempt and I'm gonna do the ramp in reverse. The hell with it. I'll do a 360 no scope off the end of it. Put me in the Hall of Fame. Oh my God, we got a junkyard up here at the finish line. We're slapping cars. We just took two of them out. Just laid a couple of them straight to rest. Ran through the Quaker car like it's a damn revolutionary war. <laughs> Carl Edwards. It's been nice knowing you, pal. That's for Gateway all those years ago. Well, let's see, can we survive this mess? Probably not, probably because David Reagan just decides that anywhere is square enough for his car to be parked in. And that is, just seems to be the rule of thumb for all wreck mess drivers. And Jeremy Clements and I know where to go. Meeting in the middle. That pretty much how Jeremy won his real life race at like Road America or wherever it was. He like dumped himself and the guy in front of him and he recovered. Yes, anyway, Mark Samuelson won the race. And then David Reagan gets Space Force. Oh, Wrangler Machine, slightly in the way. I thought maybe I could use a smidge of talent to get underneath it, but I couldn't, I could not. But what I can do is limp it across the line in the always lovable and acceptable fourth place position. Oh, I tipped him. Oh, Bobby, I'm sorry. Carl, I'm kind of sorry, less sorry, significantly less sorry. Oh, the Intimidator, no, up and over. Was in this Jeff Gordon car, Casey Mears. 
and I've dumped them and taken them out. You know, they were only a number off. Casey Mears was in the 25 for a little while there. I don't know what's going on underneath us there. Oh, God, no, Carl! No! Carl, you fool, you sacrificed your own life for nothing! And the Kodak car gets another shot in on me as well. Well, we can't have that. Oh, the Kodak car's taking care of himself. Come here. Oh, Kevin Harvick, you little weasel! You little rat! Did you all see this rat maneuver that just took place in front of our very eyeballs? Damn you all to hell! Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, come on, buddy. Actually, that might have saved us. Jimmy, give me a push. Oh, now you don't want to lay it in. All right, seven time. Big signage. Oh, Casey! Oh, the payback from Casey! That friggin' hurt, man. Oh, the clone, the clone, Neil, the clonage. More like the clownage. Absolute buffoonery in this. Oh, where do I go? What do we do? Frankly, I give all the dams because this is just... Oh, this is cool. This is fun. This is an enjoyable experience. Oh, God, no! The clone! No way! Tell me Terminators don't exist in this game. Please, I dare you. All right, well, they wheeled me up in my hospital bed to the replay booth so we can evaluate exactly what happened here. And I think, as you'll see, we just clean out. The uh, 98 that used to be Christian Eckes at one point in time before he was just removed entirely. But uh, then our clone goes ahead and plays cleanup crew on us and gets himself wedged on the wall pretty good there as well. So it's all happy ending. Let's make the roll. No, don't you do it to me, boy. It's the... Oh, okay, I was just born to go wrong, wasn't it? We're going to get pushed, though. We're going to get carried. We've crushed Christian Eckes again immediately. The 8 is going for a ride as well. Come on. Come on, Christian. We can push you out of the way. There we go. Get off of me here. Get me off of you. One of the two. Oh, my holy! Joey Gaze, the living torpedo, man. What the hell was that? It was a damn missile strike on my head, and there's another one, and I'm dead. The two-piece. Do I get a biscuit with that? Well, we are back in the replay booth here to witness another untimely demise of ours, but uh, not just ours, of course. We had plenty of people who joined us on this momentous occasion, including that Snickers car, which went for quite a ride. Like a cobra in the night, Joey Gaze comes out of nowhere and strikes us down where we stood, but we were somehow able to continue on dragging our nearly lifeless body forward until it was cleaned up and picked off by the one and only Alex the Showman Bowman. Oh, there, well, there you go. Survival was never an option, let's be honest here. It just was not the case. Look in front of us, case in point. Oh, Kevin Harvick just took a bumper to the mouth and I'm going up the wall and driving out of it. A stinger giving our clone the business and our clone's getting into some trouble here. A lot of people are, oh, we buy two and we just lay one in on Michael Waltrip. That was the Intimidator in a Michael Waltrip car and we're getting shoved in a corner here. That's gonna be a reset all day. I don't have time for this. Oh, look at this, another excursion in the world of low-tier pullouts. That was just a fail, Jimmy. Oh, please don't. 22, it's Betty, no! Betty with the lineup. Another low-level pullout lines us up for another hit. And you know that the Terminators have gone too far where they've infiltrated Benny Parsons. Jeffrey Earnhardt gets a win. The Snickers card just misses the last corner. And we'll go ahead and clean up second place. Oh, there we go on the inside. 24 up in the air already. Before we even hit ground floor, we've got wreckage on the menu at Recknado, and that is one reason why this track is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. And then Bobby Hamilton getting some revenge on me after, well, all day long. And then Carl Edwards going to take a shot at him as well. We got a gap. To oh, we just missed the gap and got clipped. Side by side, Casey came in. Oh, he went, oh, he went right. No. Oh my God, a terrible crash. I thought for sure he was gonna go left. And we get hit again on the undercarriage. That was brutal. Oh, dinger. I'm gonna land on him. Oh, smashed him out. Oh, he's just disintegrated my hopes and dreams and dumped me. But we did kind of sun him right there. So that's, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, can I get him back? Can I, is that something that's worthy of getting somebody back for even though I technically started it by Slapping my gas tank across his eyeballs. And we got a hit with a man and he goes ricocheting back across the track where I thought it would be clear. And it was not. And now I'm knocking everybody out of the way, trying to get 
back in. Oh, Hamilton's gonna come clean me up if I don't get going. Chase Elliott. Shout out to Dig Nation. He's digging in a donut right now. Don't really know what he's trying to do, but it's not win. And speaking of not win, that's what we're about to do because this race is gonna be over just about any second with the lead that... Well, actually, that lead is rapidly shrinking. What on? We might have a shot here. And at the tail end of the race. No, we're gonna be just short. No, that Quaker State car up there in the green. Oh, it was all we needed. Oh, we're gonna put that one on the bumper, Bobby. That's okay, Greg. Holding sideways in front of the track. That's not okay in the entire field. Just gonna stack it up for that one. And seconds in, we're already upside down. And Ben up pretty, oh, nice. Yeah, we look like we just came from the Derby at the County Fair. We are back inside the top 10, though. That's a decent recovery. I should pick a lane. Oh, we're, no, we're going out of the park. Holy crap, that Marshall down there was feet from dying. Dude, my, oh, what is this? Carl Edwards upside down dead in the middle of the street. Right in the lane that I happen to pick, and they are drag racing off the ramps above us. This is getting crazy out here. Uh, Alex Bowman just sitting sideways in the middle of the road for some reason, and then Jeremy Clements doing barrel rolls and another hit. That was off the face of Casey Mears. He's taken out. And we're on the, we are in a battle for the lead right now. This is the most sorry ass battle for the lead you'll ever see. And now, and now we're taking off. We've got almost four seconds up on second place on the last lap. We have just had a dub potentially appear on a golden platter in our hands. As we came out of this exact corner one lap ago and coming out of this corner, nobody's gonna be even close to us. We've captured a dub. All right. So, into the replay booth we go here as you'll relive the action from that last winning race here. Well, various times we got torn up. And it will come around here to where we didn't pick a lane, of course, go outside of the park. Not pictured as the marsh we almost crushed to death. And we have Carl Edwards just laying dead in the street. Oh, we actually got collected by another car behind us even. That's why we come to the replay booth, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, this was really the move for the lead right here. We get by Alex Bowman, Jeremy Clements, and then clock Kate Samirs. And we pretty much bring it on home about as smoothly as you can and get ourselves a dub. But we're not quite done yet today because I want to try out the Demolition Derby at this track. Well, how about something a little different here that we don't usually do? I mean, we're used to Demolition Derbies. They usually just kind of appear in our races, though. This is an actual Demolition Derby. And we've got 24 NASCAR legends lined up for a 10-minute battle to the death to see who's the best. It's pandemonium in the center already. As we basically create our own pinball effect right there at the start and more of it, we're just gonna get sandwiched in the middle of a bunch of different ones. Maybe I should have turned on like pinball and moon grab. If you guys wanna see more of that stuff in future videos, let me know. Cause I, I get a lot of people that tell me don't. I get a lot of people who tell me do. And I managed to just hit the one car that was laying around dead. There's a kill, we got one. We've wrecked somebody out of the race already. You know, Bill Elliott's hobbling around. It is not just a flesh wound for Bill Elliott. Oh, he's out. Gone just before we could get to him and I slapped to Jeffrey Earnhardt. We've only got 15 health points. We're stuck in a corner. Lake speed's really hurting though, Lake speed. Come on, are we gonna have to hit him with the lightest tap of all time? We do. A baby mini takedown. And then BJ McLeod just gonna wipe me out. We take our first death of the day. We're tied for the lead, all right. Some shots in Dick Brooks and Jimmy Scar. Lining me up against his teammate, Alex Bowman. That's not allowed. That's that's team violence. This is Johnny Benson, my Michigan hero here. Oh, man. More Michigander on Michigander violence. That's unacceptable. And it happens far too often here on this channel as we just line a couple more of them up. One thing I'm learning is I don't think I know how to commentate demolition derby. So, yes, let me know how I'm doing here because this... This is just straight up chaos. At least we usually have an objective, but I'm just holding, holding the gas to the floor and throwing the car at anything that moves, basically. Oh, it's gonna be a header with BJ and Matt Kinsis. I got a wrecking assess from somebody. I'm pissed and I'm getting sent into the wall. BJ McLeod with the takedown. There we go, we finished him off. We got Johnny Benson looking weak over there. Oh, Jeffrey Earnhardt just squeaked by us. He was hobbling around as well, and we're gonna get set into a series of flips and my wheel falls off. Well, that's not good. Can I drive this? Oh my, what a, I just got knocked into Ned Jarrett and took him out and got credit for the kill. I love to see it. Oh, that's tremendous. 
Oh, BJ McCloud punched me right in the teeth the second I spawned in. That's low level, and that is a kill on Dick Brooks, and we just missed out on Fireball, you savage. I'll get you for this. Oh, there you go. We took out the Tide right there. That's seven kills. Give me my chopper. Imagine if they did just give you kill streaks. Oh, that might be the next mod. That needs to be the next mod added. Kill streaks in demolition derbies. I want an AC-130 so I can take out Fireball Roberts like I just did. And we're going to keep dropping them on them. Glenn Wood just got taken down. Johnny Benson's looking weak. I got knocked into Johnny Benson. Took him down. Cut down in his prime. But not even close. Let's see. What other AIs can we put out of their misery? Dick Brooks in this 48. Limping home. And we get whacked into him. I love the ricochet hits. There's nothing more satisfying than a good ricochet hit. That is just class. And low effort. Because I don't even have to do anything. It's just... Let the, let the AI do the work for me. Easy mode. And I'm dead. And I'm in a wall. Look at that. Slap the Harvick. There we go. Oh, and another hit right on the mouth of Glenn Wood. He gets cleaned up by Lake Speed. I hate that. As much as I love the ricochet shots that we take on the Wrangler car, I hate knocking somebody down to one health point. And then some other stooge comes through and picks up the tag. I am absolutely disgusted. There's another one on Jimmy Johnson right behind us. Oh, I am. I'm furious. I'm in another realm of hatred right now, but that is just going to fuel the fire for this death match here. And I tried to get to Roberts there. Couldn't do it. A wall erupted in front of me, and then Ben Rhodes. His life erupted just now with the lightest of taps. I'm not getting light taps. I'm freaking dead again. Okay, Spears put one right in his door. Get our clone out of here. Oh, I don't think I got credit for that, though. He might already have been toasted. Johnny Benson with a nice one right to his engine compartment. It's Kevin Harvick. Oh, look at you over here being really badass. Oh, the seven car. See you later, pal. Another ricochet shot. Oh, Glenwood! Fireball stole Glenwood from me again! I'm furious. Kevin Harvick, I'm gonna take it out on you, and I'm getting it taken out on me by my clone. Said not today. We will not be doing this, and I just laid one into Casey Bears. It only got the assist! What kind of garbage is that? Now I'm getting beaten up on. I've got four health. If I had hit a ball with a bat, it'd be 400 yards away right now at the ferocity of the hit. And uh, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Who cares? Come on. Ben Rhodes, another one maybe on him. I'm up to 60. If I get to 25, what's this? 25 used to be the tactical nuke in Modern Warfare 2, right? That's what I need. Give me the 25, and we'll call it a day. We'll call it a video. We'll call it a life if we have to, because I don't think you come back from a nuke. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. And uh, I, I'm striding around a damn circle right now, and I'm going to line myself up with, like, the strongest car still standing. So that was a brilliant idea. Ned Jarrett for the two-piece that I can finish off with. Let's see, Kevin Harvick, are you going to be the biscuit in this meal? Yes, you are. Oh, my God, he went to the Space Force. He's gone. Check the spine on aisle whatever car he's in because that was treacherous. And he's still standing. He's still driving. I won't be soon. This is getting painful. Bad boy around the outside. Put it right in the door of McLeod. There you go. Come on. We got to get somebody here. We've been stuck on 17 forever. There you go. There's 18. We've got three minutes to finish this bad boy off. Can we get seven, seven takedowns in the next three minutes? Well, there you go. We're going to have a fresh car to do it now. Slow. Jimmy, I see you breathing on the back of me there. I'm just getting... I'm barely clipping anybody doing any damage. But there we go. Kevin Harvick gets me 19 there. Take down the happy man. <laughs> Phil Parsons playing one right in my driver's door. Oh, we got Marcus... Marcus or Marcos, depending on what time of the day it is, I guess. I don't know. Let's go get him. Let's go take him out. We, I lost. Where'd he go? All right, I'll take out Ned Jarrett anyway. He's right here. He's dead. He's gone. Ben Rhodes, gone. Oh, it's it's getting, we're turning this into a combo right here. Oh, come on, Lake Speed. Am I going to get credit for that? I didn't. I didn't. I got the assist. I'm pissed, but I'm keeping him moving, and I don't have a choice because I'm getting just tilt the world by all the cars. Denny Hamlin pushing the Kodak car into me. I just can't get away from this godforsaken wall. And wait, I think we just took, no, we got another assist. Damn this game and it's assists. I hate it. We got two minutes to get four takedowns right here. Somebody's gotta give me, well, there you go. There's Casey Mears out of the picture. Easy. Oh, three wide slide through the middle. Come on, somebody give me the takedowns. Here we go, Dick Brooks. See you later. We only need two more, and then we get Eiffel Towered. Oh my God, we're taking, Jesus, we can't even put that on YouTube right there. We just took a car from every possible angle. Come on, time is winding down. There we go. One more. We have 60 seconds 
to take one person out of this, and it might be Marcus. Come here. Oh, he's so close. Come here. No. Bowman. Bowman. Get, damn all of you. You're slowing me down. Oh, they took somebody out. That was real low. Here, Phil Parsons, baby. Come here. How does that not take him out? How does that not take him out? 40 seconds. I'm going to get flipped over here. What are you doing? No, they're killing me here. I go, come on. You cannot leave me. One takedown shy. You can't do it. You can't do it. You cannot. There we go. There it is. Oh, I'm ready to turn the key and I'm dead anyway. So what does it matter? We got two free kills there just from getting bounced around in the pile. We're getting bounced around in our head with 10 seconds to go. Just gonna send it for these last few ones. We're riding down to the sunset with the lead. Can we get one more for the buzzer? There we go, 28. We ended it on 28 and look at the carnage spread all throughout the land. There are bodies thrown everywhere and my god it wasn't even close the next guy was 12 to 9 that is just a pathetic display by the rest of the field but we did what we had to come do we accomplished our goals we got the dubs and even stuck a demolition derby in there at the end so i hope you guys enjoyed that for a little something different thank you so much to everybody who suggested this track because i can tell it is going to become one of my favorites it already kind of is and with that, I think we'll pretty much wrap things up there. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, as always. It all helps me out a ton. Maybe down in the comments, let me know what kind of stuff you want to see out of Wreckfest or any other game, for that matter, in the future. And with that, that will pretty much wrap us up. So thank you one last time, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!